Okay, so today we're making kofta biryani um, and for this I have frozen um, kofte um, which I've made. I will leave in the description before how I made these. Um, all I did was got one lamb of uh, lamb kima and added half an onion, um, four green chilies, um, salt and um, red chilies and then I just mixed it up with coriander leaves. Um, so that's how I made the gofte, but I'll leave them in the description before and then I just froze them. So um, I'm going to use the frozen um, gofte. I've also put red crushed chilies in these as well. Um, also, um, there's quite a lot of spices that go in uh, biryani. Um, so these are just the garam masale. I've not shown you the other masale yet, so I will show you them as well. Um, but I'll just show you, give you a close up. So we will need um, one aniseed. Um, one javitrika uh, pool, which is like a little flower um, and we also need um, one cinnamon stick, four black cardamoms and we also need three cloves, uh, three green cardamoms and four black peppercorns. Also we need four bay leaves, um, sorry three bay leaves I've got there. Um, I've got one tablespoon of uh, cumin seeds and one tablespoon of coriander seeds and we've also got nutmeg. Um, we're not going to use all of this nutmeg. Nutmeg is very strong so what we're going to do is when we blend all the masala in the blender to make a powder form we're just going to shave a bit of um, nutmeg so I'll show you that at the end. Um, and then we've got three tomatoes um, two green chilies because we've already we're gonna put chilies in the masala and we've also got them in the gofta as well so we don't need to put too much of these in. I'm um, just gonna put a bit of lemon in so just gonna cut them in slices about maybe four slices um, and then put them in as well and then three onions and we've got two cups of rice um, which I've got soaking. So that's two cups of normal uh, basmati rice. Um, the first step what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry roast all these garam masala. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, first of all, we're just going to check that it is hot. Just be very careful. Um, once you can, the pan is hot to the touch, um, just add your three bay leaves in. Um, add one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, just add them in. Um, add the um, aniseed and the javadrika pool and just uh, make sure you've got it on low heat now. So start off heating the pan on high heat. Um, once it's hot to the touch, then by all means just put the um, heat down. And then the cinnamon stick and the black cardamoms. And the um, green cardamoms and the peppercorns and the cloves that we've got there. Add them and just heat them through. Just very gently just heat them through once you can start smelling you don't want to burn them so please be careful we're just going to heat them through as soon as you can start smelling it um, just turn the cooker off completely so it literally takes like two or three seconds to be honest you don't need to heat them um, do it too much just, just need to heat it through what you're going to do now is just turn the cooker off and we're just going to let that cool and we're going to put it in a blender. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we've heated the garam masala, um, what we need is um, one tablespoon of uh, crushed um, uh, red chilies, um, two tablespoons of salt, um, one and a half tablespoon of red chilli powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric. Um, we also need um, half a teaspoon of garam masala um, as well so we'll put that in as well so let's go to the next step okay so in a blender just put all the uh, masala in So once you've got all the masala that you heated up on the pan, 
um, what we're going to do is regarding the nutmeg because it's very strong we're just going to sprinkle it in so just do a little bit you don't need too much because it's quite strong okay so to this we're going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala we're going to add the crushed chilies half a teaspoon of turmeric powder the uh, one and a half tablespoons of chilli powder two tablespoons of salt, add them in and we're just going to go ahead and blend this now And that's going to be our uh, biryani masala as you can see it's all blended and that's our biryani masala okay so I've heated some oil in a pan and what we're gonna do we're just gonna add the onions in and we're just gonna make them into like a golden brown color and then just gently stir that in and then just cook them until they're like golden brown and then we're going to add the ginger and garlic paste in okay so the onions are nicely softened but we do need to still brown them even more but I'm just going to put one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and then just mix that in And then just continue to mix this and just slightly um, darken the onions a bit more. We just want it caramelised. And then just continue to do that. Um, we also need um, some yoghurt as well, um, which I forgot to show you when I was showing you the ingredients at the start. So I'll show you when we put the uh, yoghurt in because we need to make a nice thick sauce. Okay, so now that the onions are nicely caramelised, um, we're going to add the tomatoes in. So just add them in. And then just mix that in. And then just continue to cook this until the tomatoes completely soften. And then we're ready to add the masala in. Okay, so now the tomatoes are all mashed up and the onions have softened, we're just going to add the brownie masala that we mixed up. Um, so that add that in and just mix that in. And then just gently mix this in. And we're just going to allow this to cook for two to three minutes and then we're just going to add the yoghurt in. Okay, so we're now going to add three heap spoons of yogurt. That's one, two, three, three heap spoons of yogurt and just gently mix that in. Okay, so gently just mix that in on one side so it doesn't curdle. So just, and then slowly bring it in all together with all the rest of the um, masala there. And then just cook this for another three to four minutes and then we'll add the uh, gofte in, the meatballs. Okay, so we're just going to add some green chilies. All I've done is just split them in half and I'm just going to put them in whole and then just mix that in. And then just give it another few seconds. Okay, so we're now ready to put the uh, frozen gofte in. So just gently place them in position. Okay. 
Okay, so because these are frozen, you can actually go ahead and just mix it in the masala. So we're just going to go ahead and mix these in, very gently. Um, if you have made them fresh, then do not mix them at this point. Just cover it um, and leave it to simmer um, until they cook through. But because these are frozen, um, you're free just to move it around however you want and they won't get damaged um, in any way at all. So we're just going to quickly mix these. Okay, so after three, four minutes of you putting the guff in, what we're going to do, we're just going to add a cup of water um, and then we're just going to cover that and let it cook and do not touch this at all now um, because they're frozen they're going to defrost and if you do need to if you feel as if you have to stir it a little bit um, just give a pan a shake just like this but do not touch it at this point and then just put the lid on so we'll put the heat on medium um, once you put the uh, cup of water in just cover it and then just leave it to simmer for at least 10 um, to 15 minutes um, please at this point do not try to stir it because obviously they've now defrosted and slightly gone softer and they can break um, so if you do feel as if you have to go in there and you have to stir it I probably do I just give it the pan a shake um, so that you know it's not sticking to the bottom of the uh, pan then but if you've got it on medium heat I don't think you should really have any problems to be honest um, so we'll come back after 5 to uh, 10 15 minutes okay, so we're just gonna lift the lid up it's been about five minutes um, and you can see it's bubbling away we're just going to add the lemons in just add them and then just continue to cook this for further 10 minutes okay so it's been about 10 minutes since the golf they have been cooking um, and they've slightly gone a bit hard so they're a bit easier to move around I probably suggest to go in there and just turn them around just like this and just do that with all of them and then just slightly put the heat up so you can slightly put the heat up now And then just cover it and cook uh, further until they are completely cooked through. Uh, just put the lid on and just continue to cook this further. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now um, and as you can see the gofi are nicely cooked um, so um, just make sure you go in there and just stir the sides so it's not sticking around the pan um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to slightly continue to cook this because I want the masala to go um, slightly thick so I'm going to put this on the other side um, and then just put it on really low heat with the lid on. I'm just going to allow that to continue to cook. And on this side, we're going to start boiling the rice now. So let's go ahead and put this on the other side and start boiling the rice. We're now ready to boil the rice. So I've just put some water in a pan. And what we're going to do, we're just going to put two tablespoons. You don't have to measure it, just put it in roughly. And then just boil this water and then we're going to add the rice in. Okay, so as you can see, the water is nicely heating up. So I've drained the washed rice that we soaked for at least 20 minutes. And we're just going to continue to boil this. Okay, so the rice is now in now. And um, we did put two tablespoons of um, salt in as well, which I showed you. Um, so just continue to boil this. And we're just going to cook it at least 85%. Um, so we want it soft, but we want it so that you can slightly break it, but it's not completely soft where it mashes up. 
um because obviously we're going to layer the rice and cook it even further as well um so just continue to do that we're just going to give it at least 10 minutes and then we'll check okay so as you can see it's been about three four minutes um and it's bubbling away and the rice is cooking nicely um so we're just going to continue to cook this um until it's nice about 95 percent um cooked there okay so it's been about 10 minutes we're just gonna check the rice And we're just going to check so if it, yeah, that's done. So we're going to take this off at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and drain the water. Okay, so we're just going to check on the gofte. And as you can see, it's um, nicely cooked and it's nicely um, got a nice thick sauce. So what we're going to do now is we're going to layer the rice and layer the um, masala so let's go ahead and do that so I've drained the rice um, as you can see in the nice and fluffy and what we're going to do we're just going to put one layer of rice at the bottom and then the masala on top so let's go ahead and do that so in the same pan I boil the rice in just going to layer the rice And just spread it out evenly as you can. Okay, so we've got one layer of rice at the bottom. And we're now ready to put the kofta masala in. So let's go ahead and do that. And then just spread it out as much as you can. And then just continue to do this okay so I put one layer of rice in one uh, layer of masala I've got some mint leaves here and um, what you're gonna do once you've washed them just break them up and then just sprinkle it everywhere as much as you want and then put a layer of rice on top Okay, so we're ready to put the layer of rice. And then just continue to do this. Very gently. Be careful not to break your gofi. Hopefully this nicely cooked, this shouldn't break anyway. And then just continue to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to also do as well is I've got a bit of zarda colour, orange colour, and I'm just going to put a few pinches everywhere. Not too much, just. I'm also going to get a bit more mint leaves and just break them up slightly um if you do have fried onions um you can also put fried onions in at this point as well but um i've not actually fried any so i'm just going to leave that out for now um if you do have al bahari which are prunes um definitely add them in the masala i have shown you another uh biryani masala um before which i have already uploaded and i'll put that in the description before and where I made it slightly in a different way um, and obviously this is a different way so I'll link that in the description before so definitely check that out um, so we're just going to put this on a very low heat with the lid on cover it with foil um, and then we're just going to leave it undone for at least 20 minutes okay as you can see I've just got a bit of oil left in the pan um, from when we made the masala what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle that over as well Just like this. Just gonna go ahead and cover this with foil. Just put the lid on um, and leave that for 20 minutes. Okay, so the brownie is now ready. 
and I've mixed it all up As you can see, okay, so Briani is now ready um, and it's ready to serve. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one guff there just to make sure it's cooked. So, as you can see, it's nicely cooked. 